Before we go any further, we should take a few steps back to the very origins of the neighborhood. Oregon was the only state to enter the Union with a constitutional ban on Blacks living and owning property in its territory. The Black Exclusion Edict wasn't repealed by voters until 1926. And throughout the early 20th century, Portland had less than 2,000 Black residents. But then, within the span of just four years, the Black population in the region would explode. At the outset of World War II, industrialist Henry J. Kaiser located a massive shipbuilding operation in Portland. He recruited workers, both black and white, from the South. During the war years, Portland's African-American population grew tenfold to as many as 25,000. I moved from Birmingham in 1944 when I was seven years of age. We lived out in a place called Vanport. Kaiser and the government rushed to build temporary worker housing. The largest such complex was Vanport City, and by 1943, Vanport had become the country's largest public housing development. There was like four major neighborhoods, and there was community centers for each neighborhood. There were shopping centers, there was bus service, there was daycare, just everything. But after the war, almost half of the residents at Vanport remained. City leaders publicly shunned the area, saying that it was turning into a slum. After the war, the attitude of the political establishment, specifically Mayor Riley and the council, was that they wanted Vanport gone as soon as possible. They started removing apartments. They wanted to destroy Vanport. The Columbia River was just loaded with water. There was uh, a heavy winter snows and then early spring rains. The dikes broke around about 4 o'clock on Memorial Day, 1948. Water came cascading in about 15 feet high. They literally ran for their lives up to Denver Avenue and in some cases formed human chains to, uh, to pull people out. And in a matter of 45 minutes, the city was flooded. Uh, they lost about 13 people and there was no Vanport. The library was gone, the grade schools were gone, the police station was gone. The entire structure of the city disappeared in that one afternoon. But the tragic destruction of Vanport gave birth to a dynamic new community as thousands of Vanport evacuees began to flow into Albina. 